Over the past couple months, I know I have developed such a respect and admiration for students who are pursuing nursing careers and their nursing education. Justin Covington is one of those students. Justin, you are a student in the College of Nursing and you also represent Villanova on the football field. Tell me, how do you balance the rigor of a nursing curriculum and also your talents and dedication out on that field? It takes a village you know, from my family at home to my teammates, my academic advisors um, for football, my academic advisors from a nursing school. Um, they always communicated very well between my clinical rotations, my practice schedule. I was able to communicate with them wherever I had to be at a certain place at a certain time. Um, and they always allowed me you know, to be where I needed to be. Um, and I had to make sure I studied, um, prepared for my exams. I made sure I did my work so I could prepare for class and you know, work out on the side, watch film and be prepared for football. A lot of time management on your part and also support from so many people around you. Justin, what inspired you to go into nursing? So my grandmother was diagnosed with colon cancer when I was in seventh grade. I had a temporary colostomy bag and just being a kid wanting to help my grandmother, I used to help her change it, um, used to clean it. Um, and long story short, um, she ended up defeating the cancer. She's now cancer free. I mean, from there, that's kind of where it stemmed of me wanting to, to care for other people and then kind of in high school. I wasn't sure how I felt about the longevity of, of the med school on top of college and a residency program. And I felt like nursing was a program where I could still have the everyday patient, patient care and be involved in helping others. Um, and we also able to complete it in four years. And you also had your own medical scare. Last year you tore your ACL. How does that motivate you and strengthen you? You need a little rain for a rainbow. And I think seeing patients you know, every day in their struggles just allowed me to be grateful um, for what I had and tearing my ACL, you know, coming off a really high, um, dropped me down a little low. But, you know, I was able to, you know, be in rehab and get better every day and still be able to support my teammates and still be able to help others too as I was going through my own rehab progress. And it was actually kind of funny. I was able to even get surgery and see what it's like to be a patient from the other side and all the things that I was practicing um, actually happened to me. You were taking a lot of mental notes probably, and I liked one of the things you said right there, you need some rain for the rainbow. Now this year, 18 male students entered the College of Nursing. Justin, what advice would you give a high school male student who might be thinking about going into nursing? I would say just don't be afraid. Um, nursing is a, is a great career. Uh, I think it's one of the very few careers where the male is a minority, and there's so many different paths you can go from for nursing, whether it's at the bedside, whether it's in the community, whether it's at home. Um, and I think you should just go for it. If you feel like you want to help others and be a part of, you know, what this world needs, then shoot for it. And I know right now you would probably love to be out on that field. You do have one year of eligibility left for football. So we are wonder wondering what's next for Justin Covington. So I'm planning to take my NCLEX, which is my nursing licensure exam, which allowed me to be an RN. And then once I take that and hopefully successfully pass it, I'm just going to train, be in graduate school, and whenever we play again, be ready. There you go. Thank you so much for joining us on this 1842 day. And you can support uh, student athletes like Justin, the College of Nursing, and also Villanova Athletics by finding that campaign at 1842day.villanova.edu.